Welcome to Roboys Research Reviews or the Project Arcute. This is a new initiative of Roboy where we bring you the state of the art research and try to explain it to you in two minutes. But before presenting a very interesting paper in robotics, let me introduce Roboy to you. Roboy is a humanoid robot that we are building to understand how the human body works. What makes Roboy really special and stand out from the other robots worldwide is that he has muscles and tendons instead of electrical engines in the joints. That results in many advantages as it comes to exploring the human-machine interaction. Roboy is built by a team of students and researchers mostly from the Technical University of Munich and it's an open source project. So if you are interested, check out our website roboy.org or the GitHub account github.com slash roboy. Now let's directly jump into the paper. Humans can easily lift and hold an object. We know that a cup has to be lifted with the handle, a ball should be held with the palms and a bat should be held by its grip. But how do we humans know this and how should machines learn to know this? The paper we have on hand today is called Task Oriented Grasping with Semantic and Geometric Scene Understanding, published in IEEE September 2017. Task Oriented Grasping with Semantic and Geometric Scene Understanding Semantic scene understanding is when the robot knows what is in the scene, a pot or a cup, and the geometry of the object involved. Now, this would help the robot change the posture of its hand and help it to grasp the object better. The problem of task-oriented grasping can be divided into two sub-problems. Problem A. Decide which part of the object could be grasped. And problem B. Position the hand in the appropriate way to hold the object. Problem A is solved by the semantic model and problem B by the geometric model. The semantic model tells you that the object you see is a pot and you should hold the pot by the handle. The model also shows that the red region is unsuitable and the green region is the suitable place to hold the object. The semantic model uses a multinet based convolutional neural network. While the semantic model tells you what the object is and where to hold the object, the geometric model maps the object to a wrist and finger pose so the robot can hold the object correctly. The experiment was conducted on 5000 scenes of depth images generated with 10 hand labeled objects. This was applied on a synthetic data with an industrial robot. You can see they were able to achieve a mean average precision of over 0.9 in the classification for the tasks handover, pour and open. Despite the noisy depth images, they were able to transfer the task constraints to objects that differ in size and shape from the training set, which we think is quite impressive. We hope you liked our first venture in explaining the paper. Stay tuned in for more cool papers.